I, I love rooting this, all of this is in, in, in an example, and I'll try to bring it back into the vocabulary we were using. So yeah. let's design a search engine that searches through all this data. So that I, if I search for um, object storage, right, this, this episode will come up and, and, and the relevant points are going to come up um, when, we, when, we, when we talked about that in either episode. So the way you would do this, right, is that you first you have to make a decision of what's my chunk, it's called, right? Chunk is what information am I feeding into the model? to get a point in the coordinate system, get the vector or the embedding. And we have to decide what that's gonna be. So we could maybe take the entire episode and turn it into a point in the coordinate system. Um, that might work, right? That's basically, can we fit the entire episode inside of a context window? But intuitively, it would be very difficult to represent an entire episode about a vector database in a say uh, 1024 dimensional space, right? That's a very, very, very good compression algorithm mm -hmm. if we're able to do that. So we might go a little bit lower granularity. That would be very cheap, right? Because you have a hundred episodes, so a hundred vectors, right? We're not talking about that much data, six kilobytes each, a hundred, right? right? So we're talking like less than a megabyte of data. So that mm -hmm. would be great. It's very simple. We could just do that in memory in JavaScript in the browser, um, but the search is not going to be great. So if we break it down and, and, and trade a little bit more complexity here for a better search experience, we might say that we're going to chunk um, based on, uh, let's say, every 30 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. So we say, okay, every 30 seconds, we're just going to do a hard cutoff and then create an embedding for that. And that's probably going to be a decent representation. Right. How, how far in the vector space, if you intuit it, how far in the vector space can you really make it and color the whole coordinate system in 30 seconds? So then we would take an episode like this, right? And say it's 60 minutes, then mm -hmm. you're going to have 120 20 embeddings. Mm -hmm. Still a very manageable amount of time of data, right? So 120 times 100 episodes times 20, uh, like 1,024 dimensions. And let's say we're storing it all as uh, four byte integers. That's like 50 megabytes of data. So we could, again, it's like manageable in memory or something like that. So it's, it's a very manageable amount of data. Um, and um, we could build a probably a pretty good search engine on that. If you, if you ship that, you could ship that on Samba Turbo Puffer. But frankly, with that few vectors, you could also do it in memory. Like if you can search a 50 megabytes very fast, right? You can right. search memory at this point at um, 20 to 30 gigabits per second on a fairly small machine. Um, so you could do that. Um, and we would get pretty search, good search results. And at this point, we could start to, again, ratchet up complexity for a better experience.